Hi gang, Scott Davenport here. In this video, we're going to talk about copying, pasting, syncing settings in on one browse across photos. Got some questions about this. Oh, a few of them over the past several weeks. And there's some confusion and rightly so. There are like nuances and differences between these options. So we'll run through them in this video. Real quick, if you're thinking about adding on one to your toolkit, check the show notes, offer code down there, save you a little bit of money, gives me a little bit of support, lets me do more videos like this. So let's get into browse and look at copy, paste, and sync. So there's different options to copy, paste, sync settings across photos. And these are workflow speed ups, right? We have a photo like the Seascape here. I like the settings on it. I would like to take these settings and apply them to this one here. A few different ways to do that. Now, in the lower right corner of browse, there are these uh, mysterious buttons. Reset all kind of makes sense. Previous, which is what we'll explore first, one would expect like, oh, okay, I was looking at this photo here. I like what I see there. I'd like to apply that over here. So I'll click the previous button. And then you're left with a what just happened moment. This is not what I was expecting to see. Where did all these settings come from? What previous means is take the settings from your previous edit and apply them to the selected photo. And that's much more obvious when you do a right click on a photo you'll see paste settings from previous edit. It's also up in the menus as well, in the settings area. It's the previous edit. Well, what was my previous edit? It happened to be this photo here. You didn't see that. I edited this photo before I started the video and you look over on the right side, we see settings applied, develop, et cetera, et cetera, effects antique. And sure enough, when I choose this seascape, I just clicked previous on, I see those exact same settings. So previous means your previous edit. Now, if you're working in browse and you've been working in browse for a while, maybe you forgot what your previous edit was, you can get surprised by this. Well then, how do we approach it? We have other options. We have copy paste, we have sync. So let's now have a look at those. Let me reset the settings on this one. I'll just do a reset all. So I want to take these settings from the seascape, apply them here. First option we have is Classic copy paste, right click, or we can use the settings menu, copy settings, select the photo I want them to land on, right click, paste settings, careful to choose paste settings, not paste settings from previous edit, paste settings. We get a pop-up, we have options to choose, uh, quite detailed, we have many different options. You can get down into the very small details of what is set in the develop module. I can choose to have effects with or without masks applied. I'll just do develop and effects, click apply. And the develop and effects settings from this photo here have been applied to my target photo. Okay, great. That makes sense. Well, what if I want to do this across a larger set of photos? I want to take the settings from one photo and apply it to five photos or 10 photos. You know, you've done a, a whole shoot, a whole series. Well, that is where sync comes in. So let me reset the settings on this one again. Right click, reset settings. We'll start with our source photo. This is what we want to have our settings copied from. We want to sync these out to multiple photos. In this case, I'll choose both seascapes. So on a Mac, I'll use Command on a PC, a Windows machine is Control. Pressing that key down, I can select multiple photos. Now one of these photos, this colored border, that is like the super selected photo, the most selected photo. That is the source for your copy paste. And the options we have, we have the sync button way down in the corner of browse, right, right down here. I can click sync. We get that pop up. What would you like to sync? What settings do you want to blast out to these other photos? And I'll do the same thing. I'll just remove the local adjustments, click apply and we'll see the other two photos have changed. Uh, not so pleasing on that right-hand photo, but you know, you get the idea. We're talking about copy-paste blasting things out. I wanna show you one other method to do that, which is using the right-click and a gotcha with that. It's something to be aware of. So I'm gonna undo that operation and just click outside here to clear my settings. Now, now let's do that sync again using the pop-up menu. I'll choose my source photo. Command or Control, click here and here. And when you're ready to do 
a sync. You have a couple of options. Right click, you can sync all the settings. And so when I do that, I don't get the pop-up. It just says grab everything, blast it across everywhere. That's your most rapid workflow if you are certain everything that you have applied to your source photo wants to be blasted across all of your other photos. So we have that option, undo. The other option, right click, is what we just saw, sync settings. But here's where I want you to be careful. Notice that I right clicked on my super selected photo. If I happened to right click on a different photo in the set, the settings are gone. In this case, that's a good thing. This prevented me from making a mistake. But notice the colored border has changed. My most selected or super selected photo is now different. Uh, if I had settings applied to this right hand photo and then chose sync settings, I would have synchronized the wrong stuff. Let's go ahead and walk through that. Okay, unselect all the things. In here, let's uh, let's just go pop into edit really quick and do something uh, very obvious. Effects, black and white, okay? That way we know what that change is. I'll say done. And what were we doing? Selecting this photo as my source. I want to synchronize them out here. If I right click in the wrong photo or a different photo, it's not the wrong photo, a different photo than I really want, and I say, oh great, let me sync all my settings. Well, what happened? On one browse did exactly what I asked it to. It took the settings from this black and white photo and blasted them across. So be careful if you're using the right click menu for sync settings to right click on your most selected photo so that you are copying the settings from the photo you intend to. I'll undo that step one more time and let's recap what we talked about here. So no selection. Previous will take the previous edit and apply it to the selected photo. If I chose previous right now, what was my previous edit? It was that black and white thing, right? So if I hit previous now, I'm going to get a black and white treatment. Copy and paste, copy settings, paste settings, those work exactly like you'd expect. The copy will lift everything off of the source photo. Paste will give you the option of what you want to apply to your target photo. And then lastly, when we have at least two photos selected, we have sync options. Sync all will just do an automatic copy paste of everything. Sync settings will choose the settings from the most selected photo, the one with the colored border. Give you the pop-up and choice to apply whatever you'd like to your other target photos. Make sure you right click on the correct photo to source things from, the one with that colored border. So that is copy, paste, sync. Hopefully demystifies that previous button, what's really going on underneath the, uh, the covers there. If you got questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.